Hello and welcome to Ben in Berlin. I'm Ben and this is Berlin. This is episode 6 in the German beer series with Ben in Berlin. Would you guys like it if I spoke the entire episode in this sort of monotone voice? I'd probably forget halfway through, but we could try anyway. Quick weather update. So only uh, three three beers this week team. The first beer is Vern's Gruner Pills Legend. The second beer is Acrobroy Moose. And last but not least, the third beer in this week's episode of Ben and Berlin German Beers is can't remember the name, Grievensteiner. So guys, first beer, let's crack on. Werner's Gruner Pills Legend. Werner's Gruner Pills Legend. A little bit of a hoppy smell straight away. Bit of malt as well. Mmm, that's one tasty beer, gang. That's um, that's the colour. Refreshing, light, a little bit, a little bit moist in the aftertaste, and then it's dry just after that. And you get quite a lot of flavour actually, just after the sip. Very refreshing, very refreshing beer. But let's see what uh, what facts I've written down about this beer this week. So, Werner's Gruner, uh, the brewery, was established in 1436. So that's incredible. So that's um, over 580 years. Now this beer is also um, very uh, significant in Berlin and in Germany because it was brewed uh, during divided times in the GDR, in the German Democratic Republic. So it was over in the East East Germany where the communists were as such. Um, but it was exported to the West. And that was a pretty tricky thing back then. Um, and so it has this uh, reputation of being one of the beers, uh, Werner's Gruner, that was um, exported to other countries, including um, West Berlin. Are you enjoying that little, this little page holder flying around? Animation, look at this. Wait, come on. That's, um, that's a tasty, refreshing beer, guys. Um, Werner's Gruner, I'm gonna give this straight off the bat an eight out of 10. Oh, what's that smell? Mm. Mm, quite an acidic um, flavour straight away. Fruity. Yeah, refreshing guys, really, um, really refreshing. Good smell. Factoids about um, Acrobat Moose. You can see, um, actually here, Moose uh, Liesel. Uh, so that I, I think that's probably her. And then this is a Hellas. Moose is a place in Lower Bavaria. Um, you can go there. Um, well, you can't go there at the moment because most of us can't leave the country that we're in. Um, but when that's lifted, if it's ever lifted, it will be lifted. Uh, <laughs> you can travel to Moose down there in Bavaria. Local elected officials, um, something about this beer was causing a bit of a corruption. And so the local media labeled it the Beer Wars, which um, sounds like a very um, good idea for a series of films. So we've got Star Wars, why not Beer, beer Wars? That could be a Netflix special. Um, and if Netflix want me to do that series, uh, I've got the time. It's not as good as the first one, but it's still very good. I'm gonna give Acroy, Acroy Bro Acro Broy at Moose, um, a seven out of 10. 
Let's clear that palate, gang. Mm. On to beer number three. Now, what are you noticing straight away, team? Cloudy, yeah? Can you see that? See how cloudy that is? So if I hold up, um, the Werner's Gruner, and now compare that, see how cloudy it is? And um, this is naturally cloudy. Very, very wheaty smell. And a very, very wheaty taste as well. Lots of berries in there, was that four berries? A very, 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 very wheaty smell and taste. Um, but it's naturally cloudy. It is a headless, but it's cloudy. Um, very malty, a little bit hoppy. I know it's a headless, but I would say that's more wheat beer in terms of taste. You'll see on here, um, uh, C and A uh, Veltins, and that was for the twin brothers, Carl and Anton, who um, took over the brewery from their, uh, their father around the turn of the century. And they, um, and they started to sort of increase production and make um, changes. Give this a score, gang. So, no, I'm not a huge fan of, of wheaty beers. Uh, but it's very tasty. And I would prefer that to a normal, um, uh, we did a Paulana last week in episode five. Go back if you haven't seen that one. You'll find the link in the description below. Um, but that's, uh, I think this is slightly better than, uh, than that one. So I'm going to give this um, Grievensteiner a six out of 10. But yeah, gang, that was um, episode six in the German beer series from Ben in Berlin. It was an 876. And um, the number one in this episode was the uh, Werner's Gruner, which came in at eight out of 10. Hope you're well, stay healthy, stay strong, drink beer, and I'll see you very, 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 very soon. All the best, Mwah. cheers. So eager, um, e eager viewers will have spotted that the background has changed in Ben and Berlin's land. Um, that's because the picture uh, of the lighthouse fell down off the wall, um, managed to um, knock the cable for the lamp, which is now here without a cable. Um, I then got electrocuted, you know, standard, uh, standard Ben. And um, so until we get that fixed, we'll sort it all out. But it looks quite nice now, doesn't it, this backdrop? Um, so yeah, side notes. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.